Hello friends, welcome again. In the previous video, we set up the media player here. We dealt with the button, with the seek bar, and now we'd like to deal with the other stuff here, the buttons and the progress here when we change it manually. So inside the audio player activity, let's deal with the forward button here, set on click listener on the forward button. And whenever it's clicked, we should set the media player position with seek to to the current position plus a thousand milliseconds, that is a second. So we get the media player dot current position plus a value, let's call it jump value and set it here to a thousand. Actually, let's copy paste this and call it jump value. Okay, remove the L because it's a integer, not long. Also, just copy paste this here and change forward to backward and the sign from plus to minus. And let's also update the seek bar progress by jump delay. Same thing here, seek bar dot progress minus equal jump delay. So this is the same thing as writing seek bar equals progress minus jump value. This is the same thing, it's shorter. So let's run this and see. Let's open the file, jump back. And forward. So that's it. Now let's deal with this button here. As usual, ship dot set on click listener. And when the chip is clicked, we should check the play speed that we don't have yet. So initialize it here, private bar play speed and set it to one. Make sure it's a float. And here, if the speed is different from two at zero five, else set it back to zero five different from 2, then increase it by 05. Otherwise, set it back to 05. Basically, the speed is increased by 05 each time, unless it is 2, and if so, jump back to 05 and start again. And to make this effective, let's set the media player dot playback params equals to a playback params dot set speed to playback speed. Actually, let's rename this factor rename playback speed, not play speed. And change the chip text to times playback speed. Okay, let's try. Here we have it, 52, going faster, set back to 5, it's going much slower, and to 1.5, and that's it for the chip. The last thing is the player here. So this one is pretty easy, on the seek bar, we'll add a on seek bar change listener, this one takes on seek bar change listener, which is an object here, seek bar dot on change listener and should implement some objects here. So implement members, all of them. And we're going to use the on progress changed. So these values here are the seek bar, then the progress, then a Boolean to say if the change was initiated by the user or not. So if it is initiated by the user, P2, then we want the media player to seek to the current progress position, set to P1. And since we set somewhere up there the seek bar max to media player position, every position of a seek bar progress maps to an actual media player position. And that's why this function here 
works well. So if you launch this with these two here, you will get a problem. So remove this and this one too. Save and start again. Here we got it. If you change. And this works. So here you notice that it doesn't finish well. That's because we started at zero. So you have a choice. If you make it to zero or to delay, it doesn't really matter actually. So let's set to delay. And that's it for this video. So in the next one, we will deal with the top bar here. We'll set the title here and the back button just here. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.